हेलो हेलो गुड आफ्टरनून मैम गुड आफ्टरनून हाउ आर यू आई एम डूइंग ग्रेट हाउ आर यू आई एम फाइन थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग मी हाउ इज द न्यू वीक फॉर यू या इट्स गोइंग रियली वेल एज यूजुअल आई हैव फिक्स्ड शेड्यूल मैम fixed schedule yeah so you need to keep to the schedule right yes ma'am yeah i have so to... yeah yeah please ma'am yeah yeah you were asking you were telling telling me something i have to yeah actually the routine which i have picked i enjoy it yeah that's important teaching learn yeah teaching and learning is my passion i enjoy it whenever i have time i try to learn something try to explore something new on daily basis okay. okay that's great so let's try to learn something today with that in mind okay yes ma'am so i hope you have gone through the session notes or at least skimmed through the pages that's allotted workplace yes, wellness workplace so you said i enjoy learning and teaching so it's part yes, of what you like but many people don't get that opportunity Uh, many people don't miss the opportunity of doing something of their own so whenever we work with an institution or an organization or a company there is something known as work etiquettes ethics workplace wellness what are your thoughts on it so in short what i would like to say ma'am that do what you love to do don't do that other tell you to do so whatever mm-hmm. you are doing if you don't enjoy you cannot be productive similar okay. goes to workplace if you have a positive workplace you will grow day in day out mm-hmm. but on the other hand workplace is negative you are surrounded by negative people mm-hmm. it will impact on your mental as well as physical health okay so coming to companies and all these sometimes we may not have the options to uh, have that positive vibing people you know the vibes may not be there and sometimes you may have to do things uh, that may not please you also yes with pressure or Absolutely. with pe- because of external factors and you also use the word impact so how do you create this impact how do you create this yeah. impact because ultimately you need to be happy and you need to also create that you have to do something for the institution or the organization it's like giving and taking yes ma'am so when you don't have so, options how is the impact created with the available yeah. option absolutely ma'am so ma'am impact if i talk about impact you know it very well that most of the people work in compulsion so yeah if you do not have any other options to do what you have to do wherever you are whatever you are doing try to enjoy it. try to indulge yourself into that and okay. on, side that. by side yeah side by side try to find out another opportunity as okay. soon as you do not have opportunity you do not mm-hmm. have option you have to stick with it so whatever you are doing try to enjoy it i know it very well that it, it is easier said than done okay but you do not have yeah you do not have any other option so as long as you are that negative place keep enjoying it try to okay. try to yeah try to think try to think that that environment doesn't impact on your mental as well as physical health if okay. you are not mentally fit if you are not mentally fit you cannot do further you will not be able to recognize your real potential you will get stuck somewhere okay so yes. that is the next word absolutely coincidental psyche the way the mind works the mental wellness the impact that it has got on your mind so definitely ultimately mind is taking everything your body could be responding to your mind most of the time it happens suppression repression regression everything ultimately your body is taking everything along with the mind yeah so that's what you also said mentally fit means it's not that you're mad or you're sane or insane 
but enjoying what is given to you and uh, being careful with your psyche the way your mind works okay so do you think it's easier to work with passion today or is it something that's available on a platter what do you think about the opportunities that you have today suppose somebody just loves singing but we don't have many communities and societies or maybe job profiles encouraging singing or even painting we have very good artists in india yes okay so uh, that's your passion so how do how to follow passion in such circumstances so, ma- you said psyche yeah. impact yes so ma'am you know it very well that we do less expect more if you have passion of something first of all what you have to do you have to keep aside money Mm-hmm. Okay. okay never ever yeah never ever compare your passion to money mm. so what mm. why do we don't enjoy our our passion mm-hmm. okay because we, while doing something that we love to do we start comparing whatever i'm doing i'm earning handsome amount of money or not whether it has my career or not what will be my future never ever think like that let me okay. bring something here ma'am when i started my institute there were mm-hmm. only two students okay so i started my class not to earn money i followed my passion right now i have more than 50 students how did i get it i just followed my passion so whatever passion whatever passion you have you have to keep following no matter whether you are earning or not whether somebody is supporting or not you have to love whatever you are doing okay so do not gauge do not gauge your um passion with money the money that you earn maybe on a monthly yes. basis yes so that shouldn't be the parameter follow your passion and let success make the noise not your mouth and not the yes. money that you earn right not the bank balance okay yes so do you think many people have got this capacity the capability and the capacity to understand this fact because usually after 45 years or 55 years people realize this they begin realizing this fact only later i'm not generalizing there are young people there are even senior citizens of our country speaking about this but generally when you look at the mindset of people it's more about are you an engineer are you a doctor are you a professional wow you should be earning something as this so how many of them have really got the capacity and the capability because you're dealing with youngsters being a tutor or how far should we go to reach that level probably yeah so ma'am in this case i would like to say dream plan action result so okay. ra- nowadays you might have noticed most of the people have only dreams and they do not make a plan if some of them make a plan they do not take action if you mm-hmm. are not taking action how can you mm-hmm. expect to get the result no okay. action no result why most of the pe- people realize at their middle of the age that i did nothing in my life i didn't get the success which i was desire for because okay. at their early age they didn't even understand what the success mean the success doesn't mean earning huge amount of money success doesn't mean purchasing a bangalow success Bangladesh. as far as i am concerned about success according to my point of view success means satisfaction okay whatever you are doing whether you are satisfied or not whether you are happy or not don't look at other people because we born alone we die alone so why do i okay. need to compare in same profession there are many tutors they are earning handsome amount of money huge amount of money i am not earning i have nothing to do with that i am just following my i i am just following my passion i love to learn as well as teach 
So okay. I have nothing to do with that. How much money am I earning? So that mm-hmm. keeps me happy all the time. Okay, that has taught you life. That has taught you different aspects of life as well. Yes. So dreams without action. We have been taught to dream by the great Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam, but also he has told. A dream is not something that you have when you sleep, but when you are awake. You yes. need to dream when you are awake, and that makes a lot of sense. Yes, that's true. That's what you just now said, right? Yes. Dream with action. Have plan. Work on it. You may fail, and you will fail, but failure is always a stepping stone to success. Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's look at some of the words and the sentences. Are you ready? And then maybe you yes, can ma'am. ask some questions. opportunity many people mispronounce this word so it has got nothing to do with accent and uh, you know specific pronunciation but opportunity can you repeat the word after me opportunity 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 no, opp- opportunity 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 yes generally people say opportunity which is wrong i've heard t- tutors also mispronouncing this word opportunity but opportunity 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 okay right yes. and um i think you've repeated this sentence i know it very well you know it very well you know very well i know very well or we know that we have been seeing that like that you can put it in different ways apparently obviously yes okay yes then um at the middle of the age maybe you can say in the middle after traveling so many years as part of the life that you're leading you realize what success so in the middle of your life span you may just live for 60 years or 50 years today but after so many years you realize that success is not what you have been following all this while and that leads to frustration right okay so these are some of the things that you have to make and it will impact so, that sorry my- to intervene <laughs> sorry to intervene ma'am if i am not mistaken i have read some grammarians books some of them use at the middle or some of them use in the middle and both are correct consumed. both are correct okay in the middle is when you are speaking about something that is a part like for example in the middle of the night at the middle of the night both are correct so if you are speaking about a period that is from the night you had a party and he woke up in the middle of the night that is you're speaking oh. about the duration and something happened within that duration where you're a part of it we have a party at night maybe you're just referring to that particular time okay some people interchange and use it but this is a general idea in the night at the night in the middle at the middle so one is regarding the particular location so at the end at the end of something in the end of something that's a difference in the okay. night at the night i got it so okay right yeah any other questions no ma'am please go ahead okay so it was uh, all about wellness so what is wellness for you let's keep away profession and perspect uh, perspectives of personal life emotional wellness today it was workplace wellness so we we know so many things if you ask people everybody is a motivational speaker today with experience yes. or without experience they can motivate people then why is it so different to create that good ambience at work when it comes to work i have seen this beautiful cartoon on youtube where there is one or two people you know only two people could be pulling the cart but there could be other people just pulling the cart reversing the cart and creating more load for the cart intentionally Yes. yes so it happens in many workplaces so we always speak about teamwork working with unity it's not the credit that should be given to one person so everybody should pull the cart together instead of making it cumbersome so what is why why do people go wrong whether it's you or me it happens with everyone yeah well as yeah, well yeah as far as i am concerned about this work if i am not mistaken man wellness means uh, something like that satisfaction or happiness yes the output the satisfaction happiness 
wellness of everyone around you also it's not just you who's reaping the fruits of the uh, harvest but well being wellness welfare yeah so when it's a workplace people may get acknowledged and appreciated and there are there, there will be politics there will be inner plays but still all together you work as one team so that company this organization this particular platform so here when some credit is given to english yari it's always a team english yari not one person of course some yeah. people are mentioned but it's the team the learners and the tutors together so like that when it comes to any workplace what is wellness for you and how do we maintain it yeah so as per my point of view ma'am wellness means i am going to express about myself how do okay. i create yeah how do okay. i create how do i create wellness in my institute first of all oh. i never ever discriminate between lower to higher i okay. always try to create familiar environment i always treat all students equally okay all students equally if some students are blunt i don't call them blunt i always try to motivate them what is your level today it doesn't matter where do you want to take your level it matters so i always try to encourage them motivate them i am not a motivational speaker but in my institute i try to do that as when somebody doesn't understand somebody doesn't understand one time two times three times four times even 100 times if they do not understand i always try to make them understand as many as many time as i can do as many time mm-hmm. as i can do through repetition okay. in different ways different yeah. style yeah okay yeah so since i have been running my institute i never ever let anybody feel uncomfortable in front of me mm. that is that is how i understand about wellness okay yes so it's a well being of everyone it's the approach and yes. the attitude that you maintain so creating the wellness is it's like easy i think so but it it becomes right when you're able to maintain it and then sustain it for the welfare of everyone right so maybe that can be also done at workplace okay now you spoke about repetition it's something that is applicable to me as well so we keep speaking about the right attitude towards learning everybody speaks about this is what i've been doing even you have been uh, speaking about this what are the different ways in which we can make people understand when it comes to any point like discrimination is one thing that is lurking in the mind of people marginalization learning ethics workplace wellness these are aspects that we are familiar with but still we need to repeat keep reminding people in different ways so repetition helps sometimes people scoff they rebuff i have heard this number of times what's the use there's no use but when do you think it strikes people some people tell you maybe they would have told you sir i have been listening to this 100 times but that time i was awakened i was enlightened so what is that striking thing maybe once when the tutor or the teacher or maybe your parent tells you something that moment it it was kind of a kind of like an epiphany for me epiphany some kind of illusion or uh, awakening happened in my life yeah now yeah so the place where i belong to men there is no culture of english language as i mentioned in our uh, every video every video i mentioned that there is no so whenever somebody comes to my institute so first i try to judge their level how much mm. english do they know if i feel i feel about their weakness okay. when i feel ab- yeah when i feel about their weakness i make them realize listen you don't need to compare yourself to others you okay. don't need to compare yourself to others there are some students who are learning here for 3 months 5 months 6 months 
you are new here i know it very well that in the beginning you may make so many mistakes even i even i make while speaking in english language english is not our native language not our native language we make mistake while speaking in english language i always try to make them realize i am not superior than them i am not superior than them i can be better than them but i am not superior that okay. makes me yeah that, that makes them feel comfortable they realize that there is someone who can understand us very well so okay that is how that is how as uh, i mentioned in my first video ma'am i used to be a welder so what actually happens at workplace if you are weak at something so people start neglecting you they never yeah. ever motivate you mm. neglecting you they start demotivating you so that shouldn't be happened anywhere if somebody is mm. weak if somebody is weak at something this is mm -hmm. this is our responsibility if we know about something make them realize make them understand listen you can do this work by this way by that way that can okay. create that can create a wonderful environment around us okay that's great so i think your profession has helped you subconsciously welding is nothing but putting things together broken parts yes, or impaired parts together or even creating something different out of the sc scratch or the scrub that you have yes so all these things so, okay yeah you were yeah. trying to ask me something yeah actually i just want to ask uh, one thing ma'am how can i work on my voice so now i'm going i'm coming to the action areas more than your voice i think you have to work on the others there are other things that you have to work on intonation is totally different i mean i have done lot of videos on intonation it can be done it's not very difficult it's not a very tedious task so let's take the scrap you know like i have i was trying to connect with your uh, profession so you have already done away with the scrap you are trying to create something new first thing is we don't say should be happen something that should happen or should be happening okay so just like how i told you i know it very well okay you can refer to something and say i know it i knew it very well otherwise you know very well it should be happening or it should have happened that's one pattern of error something that has been happening with you consistently then try to speak from general perspective because that can also help you with intonation rise and fall so when you try to speak about something that you're familiar with it's good you're establishing your thoughts and also you're recycling what you've been doing it's great but try to speak from general perspective because that will allow you to expose your thoughts and ideas to different angles of perceiving the world of perceiving different thoughts through the lens of others also that is part of communication yes sir. okay so here totally when you look at the session notes of course they focus on subjective uh, ideas what do you think what's your favorite color but i think you have to also extrapolate it and try to speak about general aspects and then put in personal you can interweave your speech with personal examples for example in my life this is what i have been doing so it has been helping me and my students because students means it's the other other means people who are not yourself it's part of your life but they are individuals who are independent so there you can throw examples like that okay so work on general perspectives try to eliminate these errors because it's very yeah, yeah. conspicuous when you're speaking your pace is good you are very clear with your thoughts and articulation is also very good only thing is you have to work on more than intonation i think the pronunciation it's more flat you have to work on yeah. the pronunciation aspects so because of that it's very conspicuous so try to eliminate these errors and then maybe we can work simultaneously on intonation and next time whenever you join any tutor be prepared to read from the session notes because we have short passages so if you meet me next time 
read the you, you just keep that session note open or a short passage that you love oh no no you right you will be next tutor ma'am so one thing i will want to tell you is try to speak to everyone okay i'm not discouraging you because this is a speaking platform that helps you to speak to lot of people you you are comfortable with me you like my uh, teaching methods or maybe comfortable with my style of speaking but try to get lot of highlights and guidelines from others also because we don't focus on training here we focus on speaking and spontaneous speaking with experts so try to get the expertise of others if you are really uh, you know particular about training then you should do something outside the platform that is extra learning mm. right so what i'm telling you is drive yourself out of something that you're familiar with the same point i'm trying to uh, reiterate drive yourself from one particular style of teaching you may like all the inputs but expose yourself to the other tutors also where you're not familiar you don't know how what they're going to ask you okay? okay so that is also there so and here we don't guarantee we don't tell you that you have to take the sessions from one particular tutor and there's no guarantee that you get the same this thing so i've been noticing this expose yourself then come to me then again expose yourself to the other tutors and then come to me so i can give you like i can tell you these areas you have worked on these areas you have in so in case you get me in another session have the session note open with a paragraph if the session note doesn't include a paragraph you can choose any paragraph that you like and just make it accessible on the screen no. right yes no. so good going keep at it right no, okay thank so you very much time flies bye bye thank you so much <laughs> okay bye 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 happy day bye 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 thank you ma'am